Uh, we're going to do a video here on how to wire a linear actuator. Linear actuator is a electric cylinder, for lack of a better term, uh, a very generic term. But what it is, is whenever you apply power to the electric motor, on it, it causes this cylinder inside here to extend out and it operates whatever it's connected to by advancing it and returning it to the, the start position of whatever you're working with. In this particular instance, this is on a Heston baler, round baler, and this is the tie apparatus that for the electric tie. These, these arms, this arm and this arm, swing in under the bale down in there and um, tie the, and put the string on the bale to wrap up the bale so it doesn't come apart whenever you dump it out the back, you know, and handle the bale. Um, so this is, I'm going to show you how to wire this linear actuator to make it work. There's a little bit of a trick to not a trick but it's just you know how you got to wire it correctly i guess is how you would say it so what you would notice though and what i noticed whenever i first started working with this i'm using two wires i'm using a brown wire and i'm using a yellow wire the brown wire when you apply power to it your yellow wire becomes your ground and grounds the motor so it runs but whenever you flip the switch the opposite way to like that would be say to extend it so when you flip the switch to retract it your yellow wire becomes your power wire and your brown wire becomes your ground i don't know how that thing is wired down in there that's got to be magic to me but that's how this thing works and I, it took a lot of, well, I had to research it, to be honest with you, to figure out how this thing worked because I just could not figure it out because I was getting, when you apply power on one wire and it's not grounded, you'll get power coming back on the, on the, the other wire, your second wire, which should be a ground. And it did, I couldn't figure out why that was doing that. And, but that's, that's how it works. These two wires change polarity as you advance and retract the electric cylinder in there. And, and I'll show you how you wire that. I, I figured it out how to wire it and with some research and stuff. And I'll show you right now how I wired the switch for that. So here we go. I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm at the workbench and... Um, to show you how, how I did this, I'm using a double acting spring loaded switch. It's a six pole switch, if you can see there. It's got six poles on it. The way you wire this switch is your two center poles on the switch. If I can get this turned around here so I get a your two center poles, which is my brown wire and my yellow wire, and it doesn't matter what color wire you use, but I'm using brown and yellow. So the brown and yellow are my function wires that go to the um, linear actuator. They go in the center of the switch. Those are the two functions. And it's left or right. It doesn't matter how you connect it. That's how your switch is going to work. And if you want it to work opposite, you don't like the way the switch works, just switch the wires around and it'll work opposite. You know, it's whatever you're comfortable with. But the, the, the wiring of this to make it work so that your wires, your function wires act as a ground wire and a power wire is is the, the way you wire the four remaining terminals on this switch and what you do you'll notice here 
I have a 15 amp circuit breaker in my system here. You can see the breaker in there. Auto automatic reset breaker. I come off the, the power side of that. Here's my power line coming in. This orange wire connects to this terminal here. Doesn't matter. I could use this terminal or this terminal. Doesn't matter that way. However, Whatever terminal you use on the other end of the switch, you use the opposite terminal, the opposite corner. So if I'm on the uh, left corner on this end, I'm on the right corner on this end. So it, I hope that makes sense. You can see the wire coming in, see the little jumper I have made going to the opposite corner. Then for your ground, my ground is over here. Again, I'm on the right corner on this side. I'm on the left corner. See, I have a jumper wire going down across. I'm on the, the left corner down here. You just use opposite corners. Is, is the easiest way I can explain it to make it, make it work. Just make sure you go to opposite corners. And that, that, that way your, your ground and your power are on opposite sides and whenever you use the switch that's what uses the function wires to act as power or ground that's how it works and it's very simple it works easy um, so that's all there is to wiring it uh, this wire that I used I the power wire I bought off of eBay it is uh, had battery terminals on it. This is 12 volt ground, uh, negative ground system. The function wires and the other couple wires I have to use for this, I'm using just um, a brake control and light control wire for a, for a trailer. That's all I'm using there. And it works fine. So, um, so I'll get this connected up and I'll just show you how it works. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, I've got this connected up here now, and it's, I'm just using a 12 volt battery. I could pull a tractor in here, but there's no need to. I got a, a good 12 volt battery. All right, here's my linear actuator that moves the tie arms, and if you can, I can put this out here, and you can see. Whoops, there we go. That's the tie arms, how they go out and back. And what you do, it, it's all electrically driven off of this linear actuator using this controller. Now, I bought this round baler uh, at an auction, and it did not have a controller with it. So, uh, that's, that's the wiring of a linear actuator. It's just not, it's all there is to it. It's just getting the, the using a six pin switch double acting switch and using uh, uh, putting the wires in the correct positions all there is to it and uh, it works pretty well so there you are if you got a wire linear actuator if you need electric tie for a round baler electric anything for a linear actuator there's how you wire it hope this helps somebody god bless